Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. 23rd of September 2020, a really big patch, an important patch came to TCS World. We're going to blast through here the selected bits from the patch notes, the things that we think you're going to be interested in. So, pertaining to all aircraft in DCS World first, enabled all aircraft types to rearm from friendly FARP objects. I have a full video of this and I will link it in the video description if you want to watch that. Next, F-14B. Added ability to hide HUD camera. Click the HUD camera in the cockpit to remove it. F-14 pilots could carry hex wrenches to remove the HUD camera, especially for landing. Here's my camera I don't want. Left click. Gone. Left click. Back. AV-8B. Added DMT. Now slave to AIM-9 seeker. In the Harrier now. We're going to go SCS down. DMT is on. Select Sidewinder. Sidewinder selected and DMT automatically slaves to the seeker lock. Really quite amazing actually. Added GBU 32 JDAM. The GBU 32 that we now have is essentially a 2,000 pound variant of the 500 pound GBU 38. We can have them on pylons 2, 3, 5 and 6 in single format only. So there's a total of 4 bombs. And we've got the guys of the GBU 32 V2 B. In terms of how you actually use it, we can't really distinguish any difference between the 32 and the 38. So they're just going to be the same. Added GBU 54 Laser JDAM. We've got a full video tutorial on this. Please see it in the video description. Replaced USAF AGM 65 Golf with USN AGM 65 Foxtrot. As far as we can see, it functions exactly the same as the G. Warhead's the same. Everything's the same other than it's just literally called an F. Boom, boom. Updated time to target and time on target function to continuously calculate command speed CS. We have a full video and tutorial on this in the video description. Added ejection seat ground safety handle arming logic. Ejection will not happen unless seat is armed. With the safety thing pulled up and eject. Nada. And put it down in the arm position and eject. Ejected. Jeff added HOTAS T5 TDC recenter for CM802 AKG cruise missile when releasing the key. Note, need to rebind T5 up, down, left, right keys and depress as well. I notice, even though it doesn't show here, keys on device and keyboard if you bound it before. Axes should not be affected. So make sure you go to adjust controls Jeff 17 and ensure that you have him set TDC press target lock and T5 TDC up, TDC down, TDC left, TDC right. Otherwise you'll do what I do. You'll join a massive 50 player GR mission, fly for three hours. Then when you go to do something, you'll realize that the buttons have changed and you will shout Deco Ironworks with very bad connotations. Added canopy fog glass effect defog button also functional. Okay, we're in our lovely Jeff at 40,000 feet and look what's happening to the window. It's fogging up. I'm breathing everywhere and I'm getting foggy and I cannot dogfight like this, I'll see. So what do you think my solution is? Defog. I can get a defog. I'm going to defog. It's defogging. Takes a while, ladies and gents, so press the button to make it go fast. And I am defogging. No more fog fog. Sexy. F-16 added AGM-65 D, G, H and K. Mavericks, we've got a full video of this and I will link it in the video description. Added AGM-88C harm in has mode only. We've got a full video on this. I will link it in the video description. T-Pod air-to-air -air mode. We've got a full video on this. I will link it in the video description. FA-18C Air to ground ranging radar mode. We've got a full video on this. We'll link it in the video description. Mark points added to the Hornet. We've got a full video on this. We'll link it in the video description. P47D added two additional modifications. The Dash 30 early model and the Dash 40 later model. Added new bombs and rockets for using on the aircraft in certain versions. Added extra fuel tanks and the M10 smoke tank. Added bomb delivery procedure. We'll cover these next week and then add them to the video description. I hope that was useful and see you later.